I wouldn't dream of that. In fact, I, I was thinking I, I might be in use of you. In use of me? <laughs> Look at how strong this boy is. He'd be perfect at my cardboard facility. <laughs> Tell me, Kip, do you like to box? I love to <laughs> box. Real life to box. <laughs> I could really use you. I'm sure I could show you a thing or two. Oh, really? Kip, he's the best boxer around. I am. Really, every morning when I show up to work, the bell rings and we get right to boxing. <laughs> boxing all day long. Well, I'm ready for that. <laughs> well, why don't you show me a thing or two? All right. Be easy now. <laughs> oh. Well, I look at it. Yeah. Square in the eye when I get there. I size it up, make sure it's the right size for me. He's ferocious and tenacious, perfect. <laughs> I get my fingers ready, nice and warm for the day. You'd need to do that. <gasps> <laughs> I get the tape, of course. Of course, blistering and all. Yeah, I go right up. Oh. And there you go, that's the whole deal. <laughs> I'm sure I could show you a thing or two. You need to be a little more aggressive. Okay. Well, you gotta get up there. All right. Grab. Grab. And fool! Fool! Turn! You see the arm movement? Go! <laughs> Flip it over! Great! That's how you box! That's how! Oh, now look at that! You have claimed your bonus and you have men fighting over you already! Isn't that <laughs> lovely? Oh, you're funny. <laughs> They're just showing each other how to box. Oh! Well, here I thought that you had claimed your goodness. <laughs> well, come with me. I want to show you. Up in the parlor, I have some magazines with bald hairstyles. <gasps> Excellent! <laughs> well, once you're done... Hello? Is, is there a Reginald here? I'm sure there I have... There better not be. Well, I, I'm sure I've got the address, right? Is it India? Because then... Yes, I'm from India. You're from India? Yes. I was sent here by my parents to, to marry him. It's an arranged marriage, you see. <laughs> Is he here? Are you, are you Reginald? Are well, you Reginald? This is potentially an opportunity. Do I have any motivation to pretend to be Reginald? Yes. 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 And what am I hoping to get out of this? Indian food. <laughs> Why, yes, I'm Reginald. Play along, my good man. Ah, uh, this is well, I'm delighted to meet you. You see in the ad you said that you must have hair, and I've got plenty of it, as you can see. Stunning. Well... Do you cook? I do cook. I love Indian food. Oh, I'm delighted to hear that. Do you dance? Yes. Oh. In French. In French. <laughs> oh, merci. Beaucoup. Oh. I've danced with a French man before. Well, first off, I'm, I can tell you all about myself. Please do. Well, you see, in India, they let you check out every man that you want to possibly marry. And then you get to pick one. It's kind of like eeny, meeny, miny, mo, and I picked you. And my parents are very, very wealthy. So they sent you right away to, to see you. So, I see. Yes, and, and they said, if. You could come back to India with me. They would treat you like a king. Really? Yes. <laughs> well, that is enticing. But I love Margaret. Should I come clean or should I go there to India? Go to India. 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 <laughs> My dear, what did you say your name was? My name is Bakshwasama Sakanham. Oh. <laughs> hey, I named one of my cats that. <laughs> I think I'll just call you B for short. Oh, you're so adorable. B, I'd love to marry you immediately, but I'm not quite ready to go to India. I've got some unfinished business here. Well, I brought all my family here. There's at least 50 of them waiting outside. Oh, dear. Yes. Well, I can't wait to meet them. Will you uh, give me just a moment, and uh, I'll meet them. All right, well, it's been a very long trip for me, so I'd love to go freshen up. Oh, yes, of course. Let me show you to the freshening up room. <laughs> right this way. 
Oh dear. Well, I guess I'd better scope out the situation with those folks out front. Oh, I don't know, Jeremy, I don't know. I mean, you're a good teacher, but I'm just losing all my nerve. What if she laughs at me? What if she doesn't take me back? I just don't think I can do it. Well, you've got to try. Wait a minute. I got an idea. Maybe one of the reasons I'm so insecure is because I made fun of her for losing her hair, and well, of course, I'm starting to thin out on top myself. <laughs> Just a little there, eh? <laughs> so, instead of me being invulnerable as all that, what if, what if I disguise myself as a traveling French singer? See, I'll come here, Disguised as uh, 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 Voltaire Moucher. I love it. That sounds authentic. And then I'll sing for her. She'll fall in love with me. And once she falls in love with me, I'll reveal who I am. The love will already have taken root, and she'll have to take me back. That sounds foolproof. Oh, good. Come, let's go find a French singing wig. <laughs> on the sides, I thought was my favorite. If I could just keep a little on the sides, the rest could go. <coughs> Enough already! What is it? You're weak! I can tell it by every morsel in your body. It's like you just want to be attached to your hair. Say after me, I don't care, hair, I don't care! Oh. It rhymes, I like it. I don't care, hair, I don't ca care. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't care! Hair, I don't care, hair, no, I don't care. Now, I have been all over the world working with people like you, and I can tell you something. I see a winner when I see one, and you are not it. <laughs> what do I need to do? Tell me what I need to do. I want to be a winner. I want to be the best bald lady there is. <laughs> best bald lady? Yes. How worth it is it to you? It's worth that, everything. Hold on, that is not very crisp. How worth it is it? To you. <laughs> Wait, how worth it is to you? Uh, Give this? me your money is what I'm saying. Write <laughs> <laughs> you the check. Thank you. <laughs> While you're at it, pour me a drink. There's lots we can discuss. Now, little does she know, but I have been going around to all of these rich women's houses because I am not really British. What I am is a con artist. And what I like to do is to scam women like her who don't have any self-esteem, and I take their money. <laughs> oh, yes, thank you, Dad. <laughs> A blank check. Thank you. <laughs> A delicious cocktail. Thank you. And tell me, what do I need to do? You need to speak French and dance. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you know, my husband knew a man if my husband was here, he might be able to connect me with him. Who is a French dancer? Margaret. Mary. Pa pardon me, intrusion. May I speak with you a moment? Of course. You'll excuse us. I will. Margaret, yeah. remember when we were teenagers and I proposed to you out in the moonlight on that dale and you told me, oh, Murray, your life is in cardboard. You'll never be rich enough or fancy enough to end up with me. I did, and shortly after that, the paper doll business boomed. <laughs> Was I silly? <laughs> no, of course not. I mean, my riches could never rival this. Until now, I have recently come into a great fortune. I am set to inherit some land in India, and many cattle and goats, <laughs> a.k.a. a dowry. <laughs> and I now have wealth to rival yours. I've heard from the scandal papers that you're divorcing your husband. That lout, that fool, that idiot. Please, please, will you marry me? Margaret, please. Oh, Murray. Say no. Who is this woman? <laughs> she is a, a Sally McCreary. What a convincing British accent. <laughs> <laughs> An exotic, foreign... Analyst. You can call me an analyst. She analyzes hair follicles. <laughs> she goes in deeply. 
and she extracts the nature of the person from the follicle, thus bringing forth the human spirit. Mary. Margaret. I need to think about this. What should I do? Mary. Mary, Mary? Mary, Mary, Mary? Mary. <laughs> Convince her to be with me. Gluten free. It'll gluten free. <laughs> it's a new trend. It'll pick up definitely about 50 years. <laughs> gluten. Gluten. The thing, the glue that holds everything together. <laughs> You're that. saying a cracker without it? A cracker without gluten is like a marriage without love. <laughs> and if you marry Murray, it'll be a gluten free disaster. Oh. <laughs> like a cardboard cracker. Yes, I'll give you another moment to think about this. Please. Oh, I think I need to go to the kitchen. And I need to leave. <laughs> I need to go to the kitchen. Do not leave! <laughs> Alle! <laughs> Who is this? Je suis... Voltaire Méchant! <laughs> Please do come in. Je suis le Sorry for interrupting again. Oh, I... Who are you? 
I'm Murray, this woman's fiance. You have the nerve to plead the love of this woman. I do. I was just reminded of that night we went on that date. Ah, you don't take your hands off of her, Whoa. you scoundrel. Whoa. How dare you, sir? You, I will kill in the deep. <laughs> kill me in the what? In the deep. <laughs> I'm a sword fight. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, in a sword fight? Yes, if I must. For I have come from France because I love this woman. What? I'm afraid she's spoken for. Oh, yeah? Well, see if that is true after this. Je perds mon nom. Je mon nid. Is it you? Me? Oh, clearly this man is spoken for. Uh, uh, who, who are you? I am your wife. My wife? Yes. Oh. I'm really French. <laughs> French singer Voltaire Montoine had a wife. Oh, now what do I do? Uh, oh, ah, yes, I am, I am your husband. Oh. <laughs> and yet I must tell you, I, I, I divorce you. Oh. Really, because you are going bald. <laughs> oh. That's fine, because I embrace my boldness. My boldness makes me bolder. <laughs> Bolder! Bolder! <laughs> well, it is all over between you and I. I am in love with only one woman from across the ocean. Her beautiful voice has reached my ears, and now I have come to tell her. Je Je t'aime, sir. Monsieur Voltaire. Je t'aime. I love No, no, no. Don't listen. What? Well, I can sing too. What? Murray's cardboard, the best boxes in the countryside. Murray's boxes, get your boxes, they are tall and wide. Oh, Murray. Oh, it's a I am French, yes I am. I eat French toast with my ham. <laughs> Margaret, I couldn't help over here from the crawl space under the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I see that you have other suitors. Alexander, the Cracker Factory is the place to be. When you get a stomach, you just eat it free with the Cracker, the Salties, and the Wheat Thins, too. Because Crackers stay true to you. Cracker! <laughs> Oh my goodness. 
Is this a mess or is this a mess? Now she loves Faultois, and I haven't the heart to tell her that it's just me, and all of those suitors are after her. What if she doesn't like me anymore once I button my shirt again? <laughs> I need a break. Why don't we all just take a break?